about to head out to Dr. Mars at Northside Animal Clinic, and we're gonna try to do another ultrasound and see if we can't see that beautiful baby that Lily's carrying. Now, last time we got some great pictures. We were able to see that little skeleton really clear. Uh, we're gonna try again. We're at uh, 16 to 17 weeks now, so we're gonna try to see if we can get a, a glimpse of that baby again. Of course, it's gonna be bigger. Might be a little more difficult, but I wanted to bring you along and take you through that experience with us. I think it's time to get Lily loaded and let's head out. There we go. That was easy. What is that, Jackie? Four months? Yeah, January the 15th is when we took her. Um, and she was due in heat within a couple of days of that. I'm going to go in just rectally right now yep. without the ultrasound and see what yep. I can feel. But yeah, basically what I'm feeling, I'm feeling that cervix go over the pelvic brim. So when it goes over the pelvic brim, what is significant about that? Is well, there a certain point in, the, in her gestation that it does that? Or is that just... Yeah, uh, so, so when, she, when she conceives and gets pregnant, that, that reproductive, reproductive tract starts getting larger. Okay. Uh, in a normal cow that's open and not pregnant, you know, I would be able to just go in about wrist deep and feel uh, the reproductive tract kind of grasp at my hand. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, you know, and I could feel each uterine horn, the left and the right, uh, right there. But, but then as the baby grows, the fetus grows, uh, it goes over the pelvic brim into the deeper part of the abdomen. Um, and like I say, I can feel the cotyledons where the where the baby's getting its nutrients from the mother. Um, and they feel probably about the size of a nickel uh -huh. uh, now when, when the baby's four months. Uh, and I can also start feeling a fetal skeleton, um, which is about the size of a, of a cat or a small dog. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true, so now we kinda know where we're at size-wise. Right. Yeah. I feel like she may be a, just a little deep because where I'm feeling it is right about in this area right and here. So we may not we may not be able to get a, a good picture. But what I think we're looking at though is basically the fluid inside of the uh, of the uterus and you see how that fluid gets bigger as I get a little deeper uh -huh. uh, so that's like the fluid or the placenta that's, that's right that's all of that um, those little balls that you're seeing those could be the cotyledons that are attached to that is so interesting. But she's getting a, she's getting a little tired of me doing it. She's yeah, bless her heart. Yeah. Just a little. So I don't think that we're going to be able to get all the way to the fetus as far as with the probe. See. Well, but we know everything's going like it should anyway. Oh yeah, everything's, everything's oh, progressing. There it is. There was the, there's the, there's, the, there's the fetus. Oh, and I got oh, that was hair. nice. I saw the little edge of it. You see the edge of it. I did catch it on camera, and I might be able to stop that and take a so still there's, photo. There's some of the skeleton right there. Oh, yes. At the bottom. Yep. You see it? Uh-huh. Looks like a rib cage yep. in the spine. Mm -hmm. See, see in the last one. Oh, look. You can see it real good. Yes. Yeah. And see, last time we really got to see a little skeleton. So, you mm -hmm. know, you remember that? So that's going to be it at the bottom right there. Yeah. Did she just relax a little bit? Yeah, she relaxed a little bit. Just a nice bit. So yeah, that's going to be it at the bottom. Oh my goodness. Come on, let it be a heifer. <laughs> Please. <laughs> each month, or however you want to do it, but I'll be happy to take a look each time and maybe we can get something. I mean, I mean, I, if you don't mind, you know, we might do it because that it, it's really interesting to me. Yeah. You that know, way we can kind of see how the baby progresses. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be great. That would be awesome. 
Wow, I learned so much today and I really enjoyed seeing that miracle of life inside of Lily, that little glimpse of that baby calf. That miracle of life is just very special, especially when you have livestock and you see those babies come. It's just something that is new each time that it happens. But I want to remind you of something else very special. Don't ever forget that your Heavenly Father loves you. And we'll see you on the next video. God bless. Thank you.